So we're back to our channel and we are back to continue more lessons in English grammar that will help us learn English the easy way. But before we begin our lessons, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, press the bell, like and share. Once again, this is Teacher Wawa. The lesson that I prepared to discuss for today is how to form questions using do, does, and did. I'm sure many are still confused on how to use these auxiliary verbs do, does, and did in forming questions. So for today, let us watch and listen to this. To form questions using affirmative sentences in the simple present tense in English, put the auxiliary do or does at the beginning of the question before the subject. Here are examples. Example of an affirmative sentence is, you go to the dentist regularly. So how did we form the question using do? Do you go to the dentist regularly? So you will notice that, that do is placed at the beginning of the question before the subject you next example affirmative sentence she visits the church on sundays now how did we form the question so we put does as an auxiliary verb before the subject she does she visit the church on sundays so in one of these examples you notice that we add do at the beginning of the affirmative sentence to change it into a question we use do when the subject is i you we they or other plural subjects in the example given a while ago we the subject is you that's why we use do as the auxiliary verb to be used to form the question here are other examples of sentences that when we use these subjects, we, you, they, and I, and other plural subjects, we use to in order to form the questions. So sentence number one, we buy food supply in the market. So the subject is we, so we use to to form the question. So what is the question? Do we buy food supply in the market? Okay, next example. The students attend classes online. So the subject is the students, which is a plural subject. So therefore, we use do in order to form the question. So the question is, do the students attend classes online? So you see, it's very easy. We just have to, to put the auxiliary verb do at the beginning of the sentence before the plural subjects. Now let's have the auxiliary verb does. We use does when the subject is he, she, it, or other singular subjects. So does is used for singular subjects. Add does at the beginning of the sentence to make the affirmative sentence a question, just like what we did in using do at the beginning of the sentence or before the subject to form the question. Here are our examples. 1. She speaks softly and sweetly. Now, how do we form the question? Now, we use does at the beginning of the sentence or before the subject she. Does is singular, so therefore, she, as a singular subject, should use does. Now, take note of this. The question is, 
does she speak softly and sweetly? We put does at the beginning of the affirmative sentence. She speaks softly and sweetly. But look at the verb. In the sentence, speak has a S. When we form the question, does she speak softly and sweetly? The letter S at the end of the verb speaks is removed in the question because as we have learned whenever we use an auxiliary verb plus main verb in present tense the main verb must be in the base form for example does plus speak does speak it's wrong to say that she speaks softly and sweetly that will be grammatically wrong remember this in singular subjects, when the verb ends in S and we use does to form the question, we have to remove S at the end of the verb. Another example, the doctor serves the people heroically. Question, question, does the doctor serve the people heroically? So notice that in the verb serves, we remove S because we use does as the auxiliary verb to form the question. So the correct form of the question is, does the doctor serve the people heroically? So does plus the main verb serve. Next, the auxiliary verb did in questions. To form questions in the past tense, put the auxiliary verb did for both singular and plural subjects at the beginning of the question. If we use do for plural subjects only and does for singular subjects, this time did as in the past form, we use it for both singular and plural subjects. Here are our examples. Affirmative sentence in the past tense. The nurses comforted the infected patients kindly. So comforted is a verb in the past form. Now, to form the question, we say, did the nurses comfort the infected patients kindly? So we put did at the beginning of the question before the subject, the nurses. The nurses is plural, so whether it is plural or, or singular, we use did. But look at the verb. Again, in the sentence, the nurses comforted infected patients kindly. We know that it is in the past form because it ends in ed. Just like the rule in other auxiliary verbs like do and does, did as an auxiliary verb should also have a main verb in the base form. For example, did plus comfort. We remove ed at the end of the verb in order to get the correct form of verb. So the question should be, did the nurses comfort the infected patients kindly? So did as the auxiliary verb and comfort in the base form. Another example, they donated ample medical supplies. So our subject here is they, which is also plural in plural form. So we use did. So the question should be, did they donate ample medical supplies? So again, in order to form the question right, we remove D in the verb donated in the sentence and form the question, did they donate ample medical supplies? Did plus the verb donate so that's all for today guys so i hope that you've learned a lot from the lessons that we have regarding um forming questions using the auxiliary verbs do does and did here is the practice test that will help you know if you learned something from the discussions that we had a while ago so please answer this Write your comment below about the score you got from the test. The
there is a prize waiting for you. Good luck guys! See you later! guys I'm back so I hope I could see your right answers or your scores in the comment section below there are more lessons to come on our next video so don't forget to subscribe like and share thanks for watching